opportunity, and I'd like to thank Minister Bruton and all his staff in the department uh, for the work they've put into this bill over uh, the last number of months. And I want to start off on a positive note by the minister, uh, uh, minister's uh, visit to Wexford uh, last uh, Monday morning, where he hosted a conference on the action plan for jobs. And this gave uh, local business an opportunity to engage directly uh, with the department. And also on that visit, uh, Minister Bruton announced uh, uh, 45 additional jobs to Danone, uh, where a 20 million investment is being carried out uh, uh, by that company. And I'd like to compliment uh, Danone for their investment into County Wexford uh, and indeed to Ireland as well. And I know many local businesses and, and business people in County Wexford who uh, were encouraged uh, by the ministers. Um, uh, visit there and been, uh, making himself available to them because uh, in previous governments I believe that ministers uh, hadn't got an open door policy where I believe this government has a very open door policy and Minister Bruton's visit to County Wexford on Monday morning last uh, showed, uh, showed that uh, to, to uh, an awful lot of people. Um, there is a huge amount of excellent examples uh, right across the country where there is uh, enterprising people uh, willing to put uh, their necks on the, on the line uh, to try and start up th their own business. And where they have been, uh, where they have been refused uh, by the local banks uh, for some collateral to start up their business. And they've been refused that for a, a number of, of, of re uh, reasons, but maybe they had no money themselves to put into the business, uh, they maybe they had traditionally high bad debt levels, the, the intensity of um, administer of overheads and time and investment required in terms of uh, a loan assessment. And I believe uh, that the Micro Enterprise Loan Fund uh, 2012 will help a huge amount of uh, small to medium sized businesses in, in this country. And as um, Deputy O'Donovan has said, that it might be a small amount of money, but it is a huge amount of money to get people started. And that's all that people want is that once they, I believe, uh, once they get started, uh, well, then they will get up and, uh, and going. And I know that Minister Bruton, his visit to the South East on Monday last, uh, that he met 14 other start-up companies in the South East. And, like, you know, if we are to get uh, jobs back going again, if we are to get recover from where we are at the moment, well, then we need these people uh, to come out uh, and to give their guarantee uh, to, to create jobs. And in that, the government has been seen uh, to be helping them. And, like, you know... People will say, and it's disappointing to hear it, some people saying that 16,000 euros is a small amount of money. I think 16,000 euros is a huge amount of money. And if you have, a, 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 in many examples, you have a husband and wife coming forward uh, who maybe have some finance themselves or whatever, they've been refused finance, but they might have their own personal savings, and 16,000 euros on top of that uh, can, uh, can uh, uh, create uh, a number of jobs over a number of years. And our domestic e economy is absolutely on the ground, and y all you have to do is go to any uh, town or city and you see uh, shops closing down, businesses closing down, because of the lack of credit uh, coming from banks. And recently I launched the, uh, um, the Enterprise Week in Bank of Ireland in, in, in Escort, and like you know, it was great there to speak uh, to, to to speak to some of the smaller business people there. They're employing one, two, three, and four uh, people because they are, are the backbone of our economy. They are the people that get up every morning and go in and, and take the risk uh, of uh, um, keeping their doors open. They're, and they are under pressure with rates, uh, with other charges, if it's ESB, telephones, whatever it is. And, thank you very much. And these people have to be uh, uh, complimented. And I know this is a second chance for a huge amount of entrepreneurs uh, that have been turned away uh, fr from, from our banks. And there's no doubt every member of this House have many examples and reasons uh, why people have been uh, uh, tur turned away. So uh, I, I compliment uh, uh, Minister Bruton on, uh, on this initiative. I do hope uh, that it, it is uh, the start of something else to come uh, into the future. And I believe that uh, once you give uh, uh, these people uh, the second chance, uh, well, then you, 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 um, you, you, you can really get going. And I, you know, I'll give you the one example. Um, and it's the man who bought bottled water uh, to Ireland. He was one of the people 
that were turned away from his local bank. And that industry now is worth over 300 million euro a year uh, to our economy. And that is just one example. And there's many more examples out there uh, similar to the one that I've just outlined. So again, I'd like to compliment the Minister and his staff in the Department and hopefully uh, that this will be as a, a few success and I've no doubt it will be because speaking to people on the ground uh, to where the real people are, uh, uh, they, they are looking forward to, to having this funding available. Thank you very much, Cahill. Yes, Minister. Deputy uh, Kieran O'Donnell and the Deputy's five minutes. 